I'm sitting here now on Des Lavelle's boat at Valencia Island. Des has written a book about the Skelligs. Des, reading between the lines of the book, really I can see how fond of the place you are. It's a strange, it's a strange kind of a relationship. And I don't know why, because there are so many islands here, the, the Skelligs, Valencia Island, Puffin Island, Blaskets, and that one has a special magic about it for me. For many people, I think. Where do you think the name Skellig Michael came? The name Michael never appeared in the early times. It was around the 10th, 11th century. That's when Michael showed up. But it's, it's interesting that the Michael name is in other high places as well, like Cornwall, like, uh, like Brittany. St. Michael is the patron of high places. And, but it was that late time, and that was late in the Skellig's history, really, because then we were talking about early Christian times. So it's a long way to the 10th or the 11th century. Let's move on to the little Skellig now, because that interests me greatly because of the amount of birds there. I mean, the comings and goings there. It's, it's a, a magic, it's a busy magic place. place. It is really. You have 23,000 pairs of gannets there. And you know, if you, if you saw only that alone in a day visit, it would be enough to, to enrich anyone because the, the scope of it, the sheer richness of the nature there, is, it's incredible. You cannot describe it. You can't read it in a book. A film doesn't cover it. You need to go there and just see the sky full of birds and rock full of birds and the surface of the ocean full of birds to try and grasp it. It's, it's magnificent. But well, you love it so much. Do you go out to greet each uh, flock returning? For example, the puffins. Do they come at this time of the puffins year? Puffins come back in oh, mid to April and they've been out on the ocean all the winter. Don't forget it. They just come in for the nesting period. It's the same for all the birds there, the puffins, the gannets. They're oceanic creatures and they come back only for their nesting season and it's like greeting old friends again when you see the first puffin of April appearing or the first gannet in February appearing and this is a wonderful time. I think we, we measure our seasons not by May and June but by the puffins and the gannets and the sheer waters and the others as they come and go. Des, do you mostly take foreigners out or do we Irish pay a visit? Uh, more and more the Irish people are becoming to a to appreciate these places that I suppose the Skelligs is, it, you know, it's a bit of a hard work to get there. I mean, it's it's two hours almost of a boat ride, let's say an hour and a half even, on the open Atlantic. And not everyone is prepared to subject himself to that kind of an endurance test. And a bit scary going up the, the rock? For some, yes, but it's no worse than going upstairs, except that the stairs is 544 steps in length, and that's, that's a long way. You can't do it in a hurry, you need to sit and take it easy. And that's a good thing, because this is a place not to be rushed. <laughs> Aidan Walsh, you're a third generation of Valencia man. Was it natural that you should end up lighthouse keeping on the Skellig? Well, from the time I joined the job, it was an ambition to, to serve some time there. And uh, something I always wanted. And luckily, I got my transfer to there in 1981. And I was there till it automated in 87. You were a month on, a month off there. Yes, correct. Was it a long, lonely month of work there? Not at Skelligs. You, you, the time spent at Skelligs was time that was most enjoyable because there's a fascinating quality about the rock, a magical uh, atmosphere about the place, and uh, I enjoyed every minute. How many people worked together at one time at the lighthouse? There was three of us stationed at one time, the three lighthouse keepers. Then you would have tradesmen coming at various times for maintenance and painting. And, uh, there was a relief every fortnight. There was always somebody coming, so no three people were on at the one time for, for the month at, at the, the one time. You'd want to like people a lot to be marooned there for four weeks at a time, wouldn't you? Well, it was better than being there on your own. The very fact that there was somebody new coming every fortnight. And uh, I was just very fortunate. Everybody I worked with were fantastic. How did you put in your leisure time? Reading, uh, climbing around the rock, uh, photography. In summertime swimming, there was always something to do in a place like Skellig's. <laughs>